everyone in this video we are going to discuss about administrative distance so to understand administrative distance let's say we have this source and this is the destination and we have some data or we have some message which we want to send from this source to this destination and from this source to destination we can have multiple paths to reach there so like for example we have one path is this okay second path is maybe this one third path is this so we can have multiple paths and in between source and destination we have multiple routes which tell us about the route or the route from source to destination so these routers actually perform routing and routing is a process to select a path even the, to select the best path from source to destination so you can see we have multiple paths to destination and but which path will be the best path it means which which will path uh, which path will can send our data as soon as possible from source to destination that will be the best path but now routing will be selecting best path from the source to destination and uh, for that these are the routers so these are the routers which will be performing this job and these routers perform this routing decision on the basis of some routing protocols and uh, and these routers may be configured with many many routing protocols like we have rip we have ospf and some other routing protocols we have so let's suppose that this router we are focusing on this router maybe router r1 this router R1 has been configured with multiple routing protocols like IGRP, OSPF, or RIP. So the IGRP stands for Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol and OSPF stands for Open Shortest Path First Routing Protocol. So this router has been configured with multiple routing protocols. They exchange information and in this information they explain that what will be the possible paths to different destinations. Now let's suppose that this router has been configured with these three routing protocols and every routing protocol has informed this router about possible paths to reach at this destination. So let's suppose that IGRP has informed this router that this path, let's suppose that this path will be the best path to reach destination. So this is something which is informed by IGRP. Let's change some color here and let's say OSPF is saying that no, this path, actually this path will be the best path to reach at the destination. It means you can reach at the destination in the least amount of time. So OSPF is saying this and let's suppose that if we have some RIP router routing information protocol and this protocol says that no, if you want to reach the destination then this would be the best path. So all these three routers are claiming about the best path to reach the same destination. And in this case, this router may get confused that which path is the best path. In that case, there, is, there are some numbers which are associated with these routing protocols like this. And those numbers are known as administrative distance. And in this case, you can see here, we have we have this uh, let me change color for this igrp the number associated with that so that number which is known as administrative distance is 100 and for this ospf is 110 and for rip this is 120. so this administrative distance actually shows the reliability or the trustworthiness of a routing protocol so this shows the reliability of that routing protocol and smaller the administrative distance, the more reliable the protocol is. So for example here, this value is smaller than this. It means OSPF is more reliable, no sorry, IGRP is more reliable than OSPF and OSPF is more reliable than RIP. So in this case, a router can make decision that who is the reliable, who is the most reliable protocol and the router will select the path which is given by the most reliable protocol. And reliability is indicated by the administrative distance. 
smaller the administrative distance, the more liable the protocol is. So let's suppose that in this case, router will be selecting the first path which is indicated or which is given by IGRP and will not select this uh, other path, the path given by other protocols. Now these are the administrative distance uh, these are the numeric values which are given by default to these routing protocols. So network administrator can actually change like these values. Administrator can actually uh, say again give priority to some other specific protocol it says like it can increase the administrative distance of one of the routing protocols to make that routing protocol more reliable. And uh, yeah, so that is the administrative distance that shows the reliability. Uh, so the reliability is indicated by these numbers and smaller the number, more reliable the protocol is. And uh, now here you can see we also have a static route. A static route means the route which has been configured by the administrator, by the network administrator that is not informed by any routing protocol but the network administrator has configured that so that static route by default is given uh, an administrative uh, distance of one and the directly connected uh, network or the interfaces will have administrative uh, distance of zero and i'll also show uh, the administrative distance for other routing protocol and for that i'll take you to the uh, official website of Cisco you can see the remaining values there so on this website this is cisco.com and so on this website I'll put the link of this uh, I'll put the, this link in the description section so on this side you can see these are the default distance values the default administrative distance assigned to different routing protocols so you can see we have all these routing protocols EI GRP, BGP, EIGRP, and IGRP, OSPF. So these routing protocol, you can see they have been given different values, and these values basically range from zero. You can see these range, these values goes from zero all the way to 255. And this connected interface has got value of zero. This is zero means the most reliable and 255 means least reliable and it says that if the administrative distance is 255 the router does not believe the source of that route and does not install the route in the routing table because this is the least reliable so as per definition this will not be counted so anyway this is where you can find all the administrative distance for different uh, routing protocols and the administrative distance shows the reliability or the trustworthiness of a routing protocol. All right, so thank you, thank you. I hope for this uh, short, uh, uh, I mean, discussion of this administrative distance will be helpful for some of you. And thank you, thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video. Thank you.